वेलकम टू जी वाई एस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट ऑन अर चैनल वी आर कवरिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विसेज एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज वी हैव स्टार्टेड एम सी क्यू सीरीज ऑफ डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक एंशियंट इंडिया मिडीवल इंडिया मॉडर्न इंडिया पॉलिटी जियोग्राफी इन्वायरमेंट सो ऑलरेडी सिक्स सीरीज आर देयर विच आई हैव टोल्ड टू यू विच आर प्रिलिम्स ओरिएटेड सो वट वी डू इन दीज सीरीज वी डेली कवर फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑफ ईच टॉपिक एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू टू डू सो टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट मे so why the date chosen has been 31st may because on 2nd june is your prelims of you 2019 and we will that end this series only one day before your prelims exam so friends uh, you can imagine that uh, if you follow these series daily as five questions are covered then approximately till 31st may nearly 1100 to 1100 question 1000 1000 to 1100 questions will be covered so already of environment you can say 1100 to 1200 questions will be covered so in this way if you are doing lot that much of practice of each topic then then certainly you can be conf- you can feel confident in your prelims exam while attempting it in the exam hall so friends if you want to be confident in your prelims exam and want to clear it with great margin so that you don't have to uh, confuse you don't want to in case you don't want to get confused in the in the after mains preparation starting the mains preparation or not so for that reason you must have clear margin on in marks so for that purpose for uh, for uh, for the purpose of uh, having clear, uh, surety about clearing your exam do follow us on our channel we daily cover 30 questions as we have six series and is in in and in each series we cover five questions daily so we daily cover 30 30 questions so the 30 question is uh, is a, is a big um, b- b- large number of questions um, b- a big number of questions so it will certainly help you people in your exam so let's start our discussion of environment and ecology lecture for number 44 so it is mcq based lecture so let's check the first question is which of the following was were not the observations recommendations of kasturi rangan panel report submitted on western ghats so let me tell you friends that here we have been asked that which one of the following were not the recommendations of kasturi rangan panel report a option is declare entire hill range of western ghats as ecologically sensitive zone Uh, b is there should be a complete ban of on mining quarrying and sand mining in the ecologically sensitive areas c is constitution for statutory western ghats ecology authority under the then ministry of environment and forests d is both a and c so friends let me tell you that the right option is d that is both a and c the the a option that is declare entire hill range of western ghats as ecologically sensitive zone or area was the recommendation of gargil committee and not the kasturi rangan panel report and also the 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 third third thing it was also the recommendation of gargil report and not not that of kasturi rangan report uh, report it is in fact said that kasturi rangan panel report has uh, has diluted the very purpose of conserving conserving the western ghats because uh, as 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 the western ghats uh, were were coming under strict uh, governing mechanism and uh, if 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 had the had the gadgil committee recommendations uh, been uh, been uh, been accepted so the, for, for uh, if if they had been accepted then uh, it would had lead to lead to kind of we can say uh, a large number of uh, Uh, stopping uh, we can say the, uh, the 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 big big mafias that are in, in are engaged in mining the, their their entire entire mechanism uh, was sure to be failed so in that case the the case of sturi rangan panel report was constituted which diluted the very purpose of uh, of 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 gadgil committee so the solution is d that is both a and c were not the recommendations of uh, sturi rangan uh, committee but it were the these were the recommendations of of uh, of your this panel called uh, kasturi rangan panel uh, these were not the re- recommendations of kasturi rangan panel these were the recommendations of gadgil committee so here is explanation gadgil com- committee and not kasturi rangan report specifies that the present system of governance of the environment should be changed the commission recommended a constitution of a western ghats ecology authority under the ministry of environment forest and Cl- climate change so option c is correct it is not recommended by 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 kasturi rangan panel and also western ghats ecology expert panel that is gadgil committee designated entire hill range as an ecological sensitive area whereas uh, in this uh, instead of the total area of western ghats uh, in in case of kasturi rangan panel only 37% of the total area uh, was brought uh, has has been brought under under uh, under ecologically sensitive area so a is also cor- incorrect so in, you can see in which way the 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 very purpose of uh, 
Gadgil committee was uh, was was diluted. So this is the explanation about your first question. Let's move on to the second question. Second question is recent studies have pointed out an increased warming over the Indian Ocean during the past half a century. Which of the following are its possible uh, implications? So where we have been asked, friends, that uh, uh, that Indian Ocean is warming up, and what could be its possible implications? The first statement is surplus rains over the ocean at the cost of monsoon rains over land. Second is decline in the marine phytoplankton in the Indian Ocean. So friends, let me tell you that both one and two are correct. So the right option becomes the C because how friends it will it is correct because obviously uh, when if the if the temperature in Indian Ocean is rising then certainly it will lead to low pressure there and it and and, and the rains occur at the low pressure because the the winds tend to merge there so in that case the the first is correct and regarding second friends obviously the increase in increase in temperature in ocean waters will certainly lead to decline in the phytoplankton productivity so it it will both so both one and two are correct so the correct option is c so if you want the detailed explanation that is provided in our explanation pdf so friends we provide only the explanation of a first question so that you can get the idea you can you can have an idea that what type of uh, approach we are following in our in our series whether it is this approach is of UPSC level or not so you might have judged uh, uh, better by the first question and its explanation that whether we are following the UPSC pattern or not so if you want to get the explanation PDFs you 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 have to subscribe to our initiative so how to subscribe to that initiative I will let you know in the coming in the coming lecture so third question is consider the following characterization of vegetation type uh, first is it has a large expanse of grassland with scattered trees and shrubs. Second is it lies between tropical rainforest and tropical steppes. Third is it has flat top, flat topped trees. The options are mid latitude flat topped mixed grove forests. B is temperate coniferous. Conifers. C is tropical savanna. D is subtropical Sudan vegetation. So let me tell you friends that the right option is tropical savanna. So tropical savanna are basically the areas a large expanse of grassland that that are basically found between tropical rainforest and tropical forest steppes. So there the grassland grasses are are, 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 are quite uh, high they, they have a quite uh, large height and also the uh, trees are scattered and the, the trees are flat topped. So they, they have scattered trees and shrubs as well as they are between lies between tropical rainforest and tropical steppes. So they exist in uh, in various parts of Africa of Africa and India. So the solution is C. And what are the essential features of tropical savanna? Already three uh, I have uh, mentioned here in the question itself. Three are mentioned, and rest of the features I have included in the explanation PDF. Let's move on to the fourth question. Fourth question is consider the following about the biochar. So friends, I think uh, this question has been already covered in our lecture. I think it is a repetition, but it, it, but but no problem. If there is a repetition, then certainly it will help you in revision. It will help you in in better uh, grasping this question. It will not will skip through your mind because friends you know that your mind is a bowl that has a uh, we can say that your mind is a kind of bowl which has a hole in in, in in its bottom through which all the knowledge passes through which if if you you continue to you continue to try fill it fill it fill it and it just goes off so the only way to to check that 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 seepage is to uh, is to revise properly revise again and again, and again. so th this is the benefit of revision so we have to consider the following about biochar First is it has a potential to help mitigate climate change via carbon sequestration. Second is use of biochar reduces the nutrient content in the soil and degrades its productive abilities as it can endure in soil for long. Third is it can provide protection against some soil borne diseases. So we have to choose the correct answer using the codes below. So let me tell you friends. Uh, that the first statement is uh, correct that the biochar has the potential to mitigate the climate change via carbon sequestration regarding second cause statement friends it is wrong because in actual practice biochar enhances the nutrient content and it's made ma it makes the soil productive so my studies have found that biochar is productive so regarding third statement friends yes it is correct it can provide protection against some soil bone diseases so third statement is also correct but the second is incorrect so the correct statement is correct statements are one and three only that is the c option so the, so the answer is solution is c so let's move on to your fifth, uh, next question next question is uh, conservation of few identified endemic endangered and sensitive species has been chosen under the national mission for clean ganga 
which of the following are not among them those species is or are not among those species so friends let me tell you that there is a national mission for clean ganga in which certain uh, and it this mission has, has also choose certain certain uh, the conservation of certain uh, identified endemic endangered species sensitive species in or of which the conservation is to take place so we have been asked that which of following is not not under this this national mission for clean ganga conservation program a is indian skimmer and saras and b is ghadial and gangetic turtle c is river dolphins and otters d is sacred grove the sacred grove bush frog so the correct option is friends the d option that is the sacred grove bush frog so it is not under the uh, national mission for clean ganga that is uh, that is focusing on uh, actually in cleaning ganga but also for the conservation of these endemic endangered species so the solution is d so this is all about friends your today's lecture and uh, if you want to subscribe to the pdfs explanation pdfs because here we only provide you the question and the and its solution and not the explanation we provide only the explanation of first question if you want to get the explanation pdfs also you can whatsapp us at this number that is 89684264814 so now the number is written here so which i have uh, i am answer uh, i am kind of selecting this is the number con our contact number so you can contact at this number to uh, to subscribe to these uh, explanation pdfs because friends now let me explain why these explanation pdfs matters because upsc is not that exam in which you have read the question and and then seen its uh, solution and then you uh, you you cram it and then you can uh, you go to exam and then you can expect that you will you will clear the exam upsc is not that type of exam you in, in upsc you must have the conceptual clarity as well as facts in your minds so in this case the 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 most appropriate thing is to do revision so revision has to be done again multiple uh, multiple times and again and again so friends actually the main problem lies with the revision because most of the students find interesting the syllabus of upsc is certainly interesting there is no doubt in it a student with full energy who starts preparing certainly has uh, finds interest in the in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the syllabus but the problem comes when when we do, we doesn't revise so how to revise because friends ultimately at the end of the day we not we will not have the time of uh, seeing the 20 to 30 minute long videos or we will not have the time to revise standard books for example shankar ias is the standard book so whether you will be able to revise that book again and again that is a question that is a big question and that is the real issue because at the most you can read the, these static books one or two times after that reading reading them again and again becomes monotonous and boring and we do not want to read them again and and let me tell you friends that upsc is all about revision if 100% is the uh, 100% if you say that 100% Uh, then then uh, the uh, selection part the, and then then 70% role is uh, in selection is played played by the revision you do so revision only takes place when you do the things again and again and you are finding reading the books boring so in that case the, the, there comes the role of explanation pdfs so these explanation pdfs what they do you, you uh, they, they they keep your interest at a high level when you solve question when you see question you go for its answer and if you find your answer wrong then you go for the explanation of that question so certainly it keeps your interest at a high level and you 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 keep revising again and again and and in this manner when you revise again and again your time is low uh, time is lost uh, your time lost is to the minimum is to the minimum possible extent and also also you become confident because you have run the you have done the revision you have done the consolidation of your uh, the things that you, that you have read so in this way you feel confident so that's why the, the, there is the importance of explanation pdfs so if you want to subscribe to them let me tell you the details that these are the uh, details of them let me share with you that uh, they we have six series currently for environment uh, we have kept the explanation pdfs at the cost of rupees 50 for ancient india it is 100 and similar for other subjects different uh, there are different cost for different subjects so let me tell you let me clarify you friends that this is not the cost of one pdf that is uh, for example if uh, if we cover if we are covering the environment then certainly rupees 50 is not the cost of one pdf it is the total cost that you have to pay Uh, a single time for the for the subscription of entire pdfs of environment and ecology so you can see that already we on the we are on the lecture number 44 so friends already we have covered 44 lectures and you and we will be covering the lectures till 31st may so you will be getting all the pdfs 
till 31st May in just rupees 50. So the, you can imagine that they are even even they are even not worth one rupees. So we have kept them uh, this this subscription fee uh, at the minimum level for the purpose of uh, our motivation as well as for the purpose of your affordability. So if you want to subscribe to them, you can do so. Uh, and and in case you you want to subscribe to all of the, of the initiatives, then the total amounts to rupees 950. But on the complete package, we are offering you a discount of 150. That is, you can get it in rupees 800. So entire package is available to you people in 800. And uh, and you, if you want to subscribe to the entire package, then you can WhatsApp us at this given number. That is 89684264814. So this is our number. So you can WhatsApp us at this given number to subscribe for our and explanation PDFs. So you will be sent explanation PDFs on daily basis then and all the previous lectures will also be sent to you in a compilation format. So uh, also I have made these now uh, these lectures now print out friendly. So you can get also print, print out of these material for the purpose of revision. So this is all about friends today's lecture. If you liked it, please like it, share it with your friends. Please comment if you have any suggestion, I will certainly consider it. And uh, lastly friends do follow uh, do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the important notifications that we do on our YouTube channel for the purpose of UPSC CSC 2019. So thank you friends. Thank you very much.